you find lots of tutorial about playfab that they show you how you can set up or use the login system or do whatever in unreal engine 4 but nobody show you how you can do that in unreal engine 5 so in this video we are going to do that so basically you are going to learn how we can set up a play fab in unreal engine 5 how you can create a advanced level login system for example if i click on play you can see we can put username email pass we can log in and we can sing up we can create guest id and we can log out also also we have the auto login system with auto login guest id system so we are going to do lots of crazy stuff so let's start okay so i already created this design so we can use our code easily or we can understand how the system is working okay that is pretty much an upgrade okay the first thing you need to make sure that you need to install the playfab plugins from epic marketplaces just search the playfab and you find the playfab just select that and install for install for unreal engine 5 it's now support once you do that you need to go to playfab uh the just search that in google playfab and just open your account and once you do that you need to press a new studio once you press the studio you can you need, you need to give a name so let's give it name a ue5 playfab okay i'm just giving it a name uh that is playfab okay now simply click on save this studio make sure the authentication setup provider is playfab once you do that if it's not loading like this just you know just leave it like that just simply refresh and once you refresh you find like this your project or uh, whatever is project name come and your game name come okay so the most important part at here that is this your id okay so we'll need to connect this thing with unreal engine the first thing we need to go to our ui and we'll do our all the course in our ui section go to even graph and now on even construct we, go, we are going to search that play fab settings okay and you find this code that said play fab settings then connected this thing at the sequencer node with this and then here you need to paste here the game title id so just go here and simply copy this id then paste that here now compile and save now your full play fab is now connected with this thing for now you don't need to set up the apis or whatever this thing telling so compile and save okay now our play fab now we can use the play fab if i go now in play fab and just open the play fab projects if you go to player section you can see that they give us uh, the limited is 100k player we can in our this project they can be 100k players that is enough player we can no, basically can sing up or login okay so in most recent login it's mean that uh which just recently login it will be find the list and the highest value date you find it here okay so basically and as you can see it's saying that we have zero total player if we want we can add a new player from here but we are not going to do that we are going to do it from unreal engine so let's go okay now simply i already created that so i already gave it name a uh, goodly that which one is login which one is for sync up so we can control from the our graph okay now just select our first thing we need to create the sync up system like user can create their email or the account from unreal engine from the or the, from the game so just simply select the sync up button and on simply pressed okay on this button is press now there's a lots of code we need to write because okay let's start from the basics we need basically the email ad, email box email text box then we need the message box and then we need basically uh, the password box okay so simply just get like this once you do that then you need to get text from this uh, box so you need to just get text from get tags and here you find a oh that is message box not this one there's a password email and there should be username yep this one so from that we need to get tags so if i search get tags we found here a code that get tags from the text box and we are basically going to do that and for stretch that you can basically do some more code like that then we need to duplicate this thing so simply just ctrl plus d 
uh, CTR plus D to duplicate that. Uh, I'm not sure why they duplicate sometimes. They duplicate. Oh, I'm placing the CTR plus W. That's why. Uh, forget that it is Unreal Engine 5, not 4, because they change the copy and the paste. Uh, you know, duplicate I, the shortcut. Okay. Now compile and save. Okay. Now we have similar like this. Now we can have a return value. Whatever we write in our text box, we can get the value at here. That's basically nice. Now we need to basically write here with prefab that our register account or if you just search only the account, you find that get ID blah blah blah. There's a lot of code you find. So we need to basically register our player with prefab uh, account. So it's quite enough hard, I guess, to do from here. So let me search a u t h auto and there should become the all the author yep register player uh play fab user so uh, simply connect with this button okay so in the register player we need a request so from that basically the uh, value we need to break that that is make find and if i now just it so you find more option that display name email and pass so we need to simply connect it with the username whatever we write and then we need to connect it the email and then once to do that we need to connect it the pass that's all we don't need to do more okay now compile save now we need to get the uh, create some custom event that is first custom so simply create a custom event that on account done it means that if our account is successfully created on server so it will be give the result at here we need basically lots of result from that and if it's failed we can basically custom event on account fail now compile and save okay so first thing we need to create that uh, I also want to display some message because I already added text box here so with that we can basically display that uh, what's going on in our graph so for do that I will create a simple custom event at here first that is refresh refresh message okay by this thing will be basically if it's execute so after then three seconds the text box so the message text box will become empty so the message box set text okay so it will become empty so let's give it name that refresh system okay so compile and save now at here I'll just leave it like here and leave this thing like there and then we'll need to uh, simply call that thing that refresh message and before uh, refresh message we want to write some message so simply copy that and paste it here okay the first thing will be give here the user data that account create done or basically it's basically server response will give you a simple message so account create done okay once it show the app pro your account has been in our server compile and save then it will be uh, tell the uh, refresh uh, the refresh box that now we can basically you know refresh the message box now compile and save now once you do that from the result if i now break that so you can see that we'll be we can get the player id transaction ticket username we don't need the uh, user name uh, but we need basically the section tickets and the uh, playfab id okay so that is totally important so what i'm going to do um, now we need to create by this thing our account has been successfully registered uh, it will be work for register and let's now add the same box but let's give the account create or at here we'll be get we we can break the error and once we break that we can get that what is the basically the issue okay 
and then we can basically refresh that so simply duplicate and connect it okay this system will be work for if the account is not create or fail and this system will work for if our account is successfully create okay guys so now our the sync up system has been done now for after the sync up we need to save some data like we need to save for in future login like if i search that login so if i search the login with email address there should be yep, this one so if i break that so as you can see what we need we need basically the email and the pass okay so that is thing that we need to save the user email and pass in our local database local database this thing mean like save game data so like a user inc file will be saved in the game by that in future we will be automatically get from there the email and pass and our user can automatically log in they don't need to paste his id or pass again okay so for do that uh, we need to save him data the first data we need to save his email then pass then we need to save his some um, basically the user from id and etc by that we can use that in our game mode or in the future for showing his name in server or etc mode okay so for do that let's create a simple save game so in the ui section we are going to create a save game object so simply search that save okay save game and now let's give it name that user data okay now double click and open now at here uh, the first thing what I'm going to do basically I'm just going to create or promote that variable and then copy that and I'm going to save that or paste that in this variable section then we can delete from at here then what we need as you can see that we need basically a if we check we need email and pass so simply just create user name we are also going to save the username email and pass overall all thing then we need basically the email and the pass okay we have the couple of things what you need okay now go to login system and once the our user successfully saved or create that it will be basically create save game object and so once our save game has been object has been done will be connected with this thing that cast to save game or sorry our user data and once we create the user data we're going to use the result set result then we are going to use the username so basically we are going to set that username then email and then pass okay now uh, simply connect second one username then third one email and fourth one is our pass once everything done we are going to basically save that so from that save game by slot name then we'll connect it like this and let's give it our so slot name that ud that is user data and simply save that okay now for the return value will be simply connect this result with our result one then we need basically username email and pass so for do that simply i just i'm going to copy that or duplicate that and now we can basically give the username email and pass then save that okay we have this thing now it will be going to save the username data or whatever they want in our save game so in the future we can create the auto login system okay so now let me show you that example like are our, this thing is working or not okay so we are basically going to do a test let's create a simple 
uh, account at here so if i click on play okay let's give it anything okay i'm mean, just writing some uh, invalid data and i'm trying to log in let's see our error has shown not here yeah, it's saying that invalid invalid parameter okay so let's write some goodly like let's give it username that hero and let's give our email address that sajjat at gmail.com and then let's give it our password and once you do that let's click on sign up and it's saying that account create done so we have now our data okay so if i go to server and if i set that most valid uh, as you can see my hero character has been added and we we can see his id number and whatever it is from which country <coughs> and create and whatever if i give it now a refresh they show you that now we have one player in our database okay that was totally great okay so it's been that our login system has been done if i now go in project folder then go to save and if i go to save that our ud dot save data has been created at here so we have our basically saved data right now so with that we can basically in future we can auto login and do other st stuff like hope you understand today's tutorial video in next part we are going to learn something more thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next video